Welcome to another episode of the GSAT Track How To Series. In this video, we're going to cover time check ins, how to set them up to be notified when our workers and loan workers are out away from the office and they need to check in at a specific time so we can ensure that they're safe. We also want to be able to be notified if someone doesn't check in, and I'll go through that too. To begin, we're going to come over here to our navigation panel, click on the Add Item button. Next, we're going to go to Add Alert. We're going to change our type to Check In. And as we would with any standard alert, we're going to choose a name for it, a description, and a resolution. As an example for this instance, I want to be notified if employees have not checked in at the appropriate time that I've set and they're away from the office. So in this way, I'm going to use our own employees, and I want to be notified if they have checked in by 11 o'clock and they're outside of the office. This gives me a very defined time. This lets me know that they're safe and everything is okay. To begin this process, I'm going to go to my filters and I'm going to put in that time frame. I am going to give them a 30-minute grace period prior to the alert. So from 10:30 to 11, I want to be notified if they're outside of the office so they can check in and I know they're safe. I'm then going to apply additional features and filters to this to let me know that it only operates on certain days where we would expect our employees to be doing. Next, because I've defined that I want it to be outside of the office. If they're inside the office, I know they're safe. If they're outside of the office, that's where this needs to apply. So I'm then going to create my final filter of I want it to be outside the office, Geofence, and add that filter. So what I've done is I've created a check-in alert that notifies me that between 10:30 and 11, who has checked in. I want it to be on specific days, and I only want it to be if someone is operating outside of the office, because it doesn't matter if they're inside. But how does this let me know if someone has not checked in? An alert summary report. Now this report is gonna have all of the information for my employees on the alerts that were triggered and also the alerts that were not triggered. And in this way, I'm able to quickly understand who has actually triggered the alert, hasn't. So in this case, if I was looking at max speed and applying it to this check-in alert, wanting to be notified of a time frame, I could see that Jeff didn't trigger this, that uh, his demo unit didn't trigger this, but I could also go through, through quickly and see who had. So all of the alerts are listed here, and by scheduling it to be delivered at a specific time, that 11.30 time frame, I can go ahead and be notified on a daily basis of when I'm going to be notified of who has not checked in at that 11.30 time frame. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's daily and I'm gonna go ahead and set that time frame be anyone that has not checked in by, uh, I will get, receive the report 30 minutes after everyone should have checked in so I know what happened and then I can go ahead and receive that on a standard email. And so in this way, I have a clear function for understanding not only that I have time check-ins that I can set for my employees so I know that they're safe if they're outside the office at a specific time, also can go ahead and apply it so I receive a notification of the people who did check in and those who didn't. Thank you very much, and I look forward to our next video.